you cannot reuse abutments, period. If you want to pass go, not collect $200 and go straight to jail, go ahead and reuse an abutment. You cannot reuse an abutment on a different patient. Let me explain. The, the FDA has a symbol that's on the back of packages that are approved for medical, in, in, uh, medical use. There is a symbol that looks like the number two with a circle with a slash line through it. And what that symbol means is that it's for single patient use. Single patient use. If you use an abutment on a patient and you leave that in their mouth for three months, then you take it out and you autoclave it and you put it in another human being, you are going to put yourself in a very, very bad position. Not only for you, but also for dentistry, okay? You do not want to do that. It is a single patient use. If you take it out and you want to put it back in that patient, that's fine. It's their, it's their, it's their biofilm and plaque and everything built up on the surface. That's theirs, okay? But you don't want to try to clean that and use it on someone else. That's a no-no. So what products have this indication? Well, all you have to do is turn the package over and right on the back, it'll have a two with a, sla a circle and a slash to it. And if it does, that's single patient use only. Now, I know these things are expensive, right? Especially for things that are temporary. I know that's a pain. We all agree. But the fact of the matter is, is that that's part of doing business. And when you've got the parts that say they're single patient use, just imagine the backlash that if, if, if someone found out that you were using a part that was in someone else, what, what was the health history on that other person that you put into my mouth? Are you kidding me? You, you, you will be the poster boy for what not to do in dentistry if you do that. You cannot do that, period. I don't care where you work. I don't care if you're working for someone else or working for yourself. You can't do it. If it says single patient use, it's single patient use. And you should, when you take these parts and you use them, usually they have a peel-off label. You take that peel-off label and you stick it on a, a piece of paper that's related to the case and you scan that. You scan that into their file. So it says, this is the unit that we use. This is the disposable component, whether it's a healing abutment or a suture cap or whatever it is. And you put that on there. So it says, okay, this is a single patient use. This is the number, that, the batch number and the lot number that went with this product in case there's ever an issue. And you record it. And that way you have proof. Hey, we're using, we're using reputable products that are recorded and, and, and you're not reusing products on different people because that would be bad for the patient. That would be bad for the industry. Please do not do that. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, Smile Engineer. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe for more.